my channel this is purity yes so, so welcome to my channel please remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you love it and please remember to comment on my videos i really love reading your comments it just gets me happy <laughs> today we are crocheting this beautiful vest top it's really making me happy as you can tell we're crocheting this top and this is how it looks it has the ribbing here and it's color pink ribbing at the arm whole area which is pink and it has colors so this is what we are creating today and remember to wear this you can you can wear a shirt inside or a t-shirt just in case it's cold wherever you are or you can just wear it like this like me as you can see it doesn't show your bra so it's a very very comfortable outfit and trendy and sassy and i believe it's beautiful so let's get started with the tutorial and again kindly remember to subscribe to my channel so let's get started with the tutorial i am using thin yarn meaning i will double my yarn and we are using color red and color pink all these yarns are a hundred percent acrylic yarn and my cue it's thin yarn so i will double my yarn but you can use any other medium weight yarn that you have to crochet we are using a 4.5 mm hook to crochet and a 2.5 mm hook to join you can use a darning needle to join and also to stitch in the ends a pair of scissors and a tape measure and stitch markers so this is how our top looks and we will work like this my top is from the west upwards so we will start crocheting from the west all the way to your under bust after that you will work decreases all the way to your top bust once you're done you'll do normal double crochets until your collar area then we'll do the neckline okay so this is how we are going to work on this top you work up to your under bust do decreases up to on top of your bust then do normal double crochets until your collar area okay until your collarbone so as i said i'm doubling my yarn and we are doing chains so i'm chaining as long as my bust measurements is my bust measurement is 32 so 32 by 2 meaning i'm chaining up to 16 inches take your bust measurement divide by 2 and that's how you get the first front panel so i'm chaining up to 16 inches I am done and this is 16 inches so now we begin on our pattern and to work on this vest we are using half double crochets so to start working on the half double crochets chain two more chains yarn over skip the first two chains from the hook and on the third chain do a half double crochet you are working with half double crochets across all the chains that you have i'll meet you at the end of this first row I'm done with row one of half double crochets 
and this is how it looks to begin row two chain two one two then you turn your work yarn over and we are doing half double crochets all through so go to the first stitch and do a half double crochet like that and you're working half double crochets across all the stitches that you have and i'll meet you at the end of this second row This is how my second row looks to begin row three chain two turn your work and we are working with half double crochets all through so our main stitch is the half double crochets and we are working half double crochets across all the stitches that you have and you'll do this until you get your under bust that's when we will start doing the decreases i needed a crop top so I started working from my upper waist all the way to my under bust. That's when I started doing the decreases. So continue working with half double crochets until you get your under bust. Then I'll meet you there to start doing decreases. I am done and I did a total of 5 inches. That is from my upper waist to my under bust measurements remember i want my vest to be quite short so this is five inches and now we want to begin doing reductions and to do reductions we will do reductions on both sides so on this side and this other side so we do reduction in the beginning and the end of each row and it will form this v-shape thing going on okay so let's start doing our reductions as i said we are doing reductions in the beginning of the row and the end of the row so we will chain two to begin a new row and immediately do our first reduction this is how we do our first reduction yarn over go to the first stitch like this do not complete that half double crochet yarn over go into the first stitch but do not complete the half double crochet then go to the next stitch you'll have four loops then yarn over all through the four that's our first reduction so we'll go ahead and do the half double crochets until we get to two stitches to the end then we'll, i will show you again how we do our reduction and please remember we are doing reduction in the end and the beginning of each row so i'll meet you at the end of the row to show you how i do my next reduction I am at the end of the row and I have two stitches left so this is how we do uh, our reduction this is just a repetition we yarn over go in that first stitch do not complete that half double crochet go to the next stitch which is our last stitch here yarn over and we'll have four loops then yarn over all through the four okay that is our second reduction then you'll chain two turn your work and immediately do a reduction okay so yarn over go in that first stitch go in the next stitch then you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over through the four that is how we do reductions and 
I will meet you at the end of the row to show you again how we do the reduction as per now we are just doing the normal half double crochets I am at the end of the row and it's time again to do another reduction and this is how we do it. So yarn over first. Go in the first stitch like that. Then go in the second stitch. Like that. Then you yarn over. You'll have four loops in your hook. Then you pull through all the four. Then you chain two, turn your work, and immediately we are doing another reduction. So that's how we are doing the reductions and we'll do reductions from your under bust up to your top bust okay from under your boobs until your top of the boobs so i did reductions all the way until i get to on top of my boobs and i did a total of five rows okay so as you can see the reductions are coming in handy it's starting to form the v-shape so do that and i'll meet you once you're done doing your reductions and then we will continue with our pattern okay Remember, you're working from your under bust until your top of the bust. So this is how your work should look. And I'll meet you once we're on top here so that you continue with the pattern. As I said, mine is a total of 4 inches. So if you're working with size small, you'll do a total of 4 inches I am done and this is how my work looks so if we measure this should be a total of sorry it's five inches I'm sorry for that so it's a total of five inches and now we want to continue with our pattern once you're done with the reductions this is how it looks once you're done with the reduction you will maintain half double crochets until you get to your collarbone area that's where we will start working the neckline okay so right now we are continuing with the normal pattern no decreases no increases just normal double crochets until you get to your collar zone that's when we start working on the neckline and I did a total of six inches to my collar zone so if you're working with size small you can do you can use my measurements it will be fine but for any other sizes kindly you have to take measurements from your top bust all the way to your collar zone that's where we will stop and work on our neckline remember we are doing normal double crochets i am done and this is how my work looks so remember we are, we, are, we worked from on top of the bust up to our collar area and as i said it's six inches okay that is for size small okay so now we want to work on our neckline and to do that you'll fold your garment into two like this make sure it's well aligned especially at the top here then fold it again so you'll fold it twice okay but make sure it's well aligned at the top here 
you want to find our neck area so take your stitch marker and put it at the outer side of your garment like that put it at the outer side like that then lock it in and take your second stitch marker and put it in the inside part okay then you lock it in that is how you the easiest way to measure your neckline it's so easy and accurate rather than counting okay so put it in the inside part like that and please make sure your work is well aligned once you're done you'll open them like this and that's how you get your neckline measurements and as from here we'll just do double crochets and turn where we get to the stitch markers and this is the neckline these two long things <laughs> so we are working with half double crochets until you get your first stitch marker and that's where we will be turning from and i just did a total of two inches on each side so let's continue with the pattern which is half double crochets until you get your first stitch marker then you will turn around and you'll continue working with half double crochets while turning on the stitch marker until you get to two inches long then you'll cut off your yarn and do the same to the other side okay I went ahead and did the two pieces of the neckline and as I said each of them is two inches long and once you're done make your second panel and then I'll meet you once you have your two identical panels and we will join the two together using a 2.5 mm hook and we are using single crochets to join so to start joining first we'll join here at the neckline first then the sides okay so align your work well and we are joining using a 2.5 mm hook or you can use a darning needle and we are using single crochets to join we are starting with one neckline then go to the other then finish up with the sides
done joining and this is how it looks remember this is the wrong side okay so go ahead and join the other side together too remember you're using a 2.5 mm hook or a darning needle for those using hooks we are using single crochets to join and your work should look like this so go ahead and join the sides and remember we are working on the wrong side okay so we will join the side and it's from this side from here until here and the other side too from this side to this side okay so this is how my work looks everything is joined in together and now we want to do the arm ribbing okay the arm ribbing and the bottom ribbing are the same so i'll just show you for the arm and you'll apply the same to the bottom ribbing then we'll complete by doing our collars So to do the ribbing of the arms and the under our garment, I am using pink yarn and it's also thin yarn. So I have to double the yarn. And first you'll just go in each stitch and do double crochets. Now we are working with double crochets, okay? So we are going in each stitch and doing double crochets all round your arm hole. And I'll meet you once we are done with the row of double crochets and start a new row, okay? Okay, I'm done with the first row, which is a row of normal double crochets all around my armhole. And I've come to here where I began. So we're going to join the two using a slip stitch like this. And remember, I'm using my 4.5 mm hook. Okay, so join the two together using a slip stitch like this. And then you chain two and turn your work okay turn your work and now we are going to work with front post and back post so yarn over go in the first double crochet like that and do a front post okay that's how we do a front post then go to the next one and now we are doing a back post like that that's how we do a back post and now we will alternate between front posts and back posts all around our garment until we get to here where we began from and i will meet you once you're done doing your row one of front posts and back posts
I am done and this is how it looks. I just did um, the first row of front posts and back posts. So at the end we are always joining using a slip stitch like this. Go on top of that chain 2 that we did and make a slip stitch. And remember now we are working on the right side, okay? To do this ribbing, you are working on the right side. So finish up by making, by doing a slip stitch. And then chain two. Turn your work to begin a new row. And this is a row of front post and back post right now. It will be much easier where there's a front post put a front post and where there's a back post put a back post and we're only doing two rows of front posts and back posts so once you're done with this first armhole you'll do the same thing to the second armhole okay first a row of double crochets then two rows of front posts and back posts I am done and to join remember we are joining using a slip stitch like this then you'll cut off your yarn because we're only doing two rows of front post and back post once you cut off your yarn make sure your yarn is well reinforced so that your work does not run and then you'll do the same thing to the second armhole then go ahead and also work at the bottom here this is how my work looks so you do the same thing to the other armhole and also the bottom side of the garment and remember on the bottom side i did a total of four rows of the ribbing so always remember that so i will meet you once you're done with the ribbing I am done and this is how my work looks it's also beautiful and feels so so nice and remember at the bottom here I did four rows of front posts and back posts and at the armholes we did two rows of front posts and back posts now we want to work on the collars and then we will be done and to do that you need to count how many stitches you have here at the collars so from this end up to this end i have 20 stitches so that is 20 stitches now i have to count up to 10 stitches and put a stitch marker a half of 20 is 10 and when on on the 10th stitch you'll put a stitch marker so count whatever stitches you have and mark the half part of it and make sure you put a stitch marker there and then we will reattach our yarn just after the stitch marker and start working on half double crochets all around the neck area until you get to the stitch marker so reattach your yarn and we will work with half double crochets okay
I am done and I'm here where we put our stitch marker. Now this will be our turning point, okay? Do not remove your stitch marker. Just chain two and then you turn your work, okay? So chain two. Once you get your stitch marker, chain two and turn your work and continue with half double crochets until you get to the stitch marker so you're going round doing half double crochets until you get to here where there's the stitch marker okay and i'll meet you once you're there I am done with my second row once you get your stitch marker remember this is where now you'll be turning from for now you can remove your stitch marker and then we are continuing with half double crochets until we get to three inches that's how long our collars will be so you chain two and turn your work and continue doing half double crochets until you get to the other side when you get to the other side chain two, turn your work and continue doing half double crochets until you get to a length of three inches and now you'll be done with your collar but remember you can make it longer if you want a longer um collar okay so do that and i'll meet you once you're done with your collar I am done and this is how my collar looks as I said it's a length of three inches long and this is how my outfit looks thank you so so much for watching kindly remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I also love reading your comments so I will see you in my next video I love you so much take care of yourselves goodbye